Okay, everybody, <clears throat> here's a nice example of how to use the universal law of gravitation. Let's calculate the gravitational force in Newtons between Earth and its moon. And I've given you the masses of each and the distance between them. I think it's always a good plan to draw a little sketch of what's going on. So we'll draw Earth and its moon, and we'll draw the line between the centers of mass and we'll sketch in the mass of the Earth, which is 5.972 times 10 to the 24th kilograms, mass of the Moon, 7.3 times 10 to the 22 kilograms, and the distance between centers of mass is 3.844 times 10 to the 8th meters on average. Okay, so the universal law of gravitation is F is equal to G M1 M2 over R squared. G is the universal um, gravitational constant. That's 6.674 times 10 to the 11th. And the units are meters cubed per kilogram second squared. And that's just to get the units right. And we'll plug in our two masses. So <clears throat> we're dealing with big numbers. And you want to make sure to use your calculator correctly. Um, don't type in, you know, times 10 to the caret 24, for example. Use the exponential button. It's usually labeled EXP or EE on your calculator. So learn how to use that to do these kinds of calculations. Um, divide by the radius, and don't forget to square that. And I always think it's a good idea to put in the units as well. And then you can cancel the units. So, for example, meters squared here is going to cancel uh, meters squared up top. Kilograms cancel kilograms. Let's see, we cancel meters squared, so we just leave one meter up top. And so our units are kilogram meter per second squared, which is the unit of force, which is good. So all that really remains is just to do this arithmetic on a calculator. And what you'll find is 1.98 times 10 to the 20 newtons which is a very large force and you know even though the moon and earth are very far apart and you're dividing by that large radius the masses of these things are so big that that's what gives us this large force 